wonderful evening to fellow Toastmasters and members and guests. Just my opening question as usual. Who over here in this room never reads childhood stories? You don't watch, you don't read Anderson fairy tales or whatever. Anyone? Yeah, that's the old one. As usual. <laughs> Okay, so what can you actually learn from the childhood stories from Chris Anderson, or the, like such as Magic Girls, um, the Ugly Duckling? What can you actually learn? Do you actually learn about witches cooking fat little girls and boys in the witches cauldron? Do you actually have those fairy godmothers turning rats and mice into all the little servants? No, you don't. What is actually the truth about all these childhood stories is they are hidden. Which be good business wisdom is hidden in these stories. So it does amaze me that when that when I do read about all these stories. I realize that all these, all these authors, they should never be a writer in the first place. They should actually be a businessman. <laughs> Why? I will just go straight into the stories. Three stories. First story, the ugly duckling. Everybody heard about all the about ugly duckling? Yeah. I suppose so. Yeah, so about the ugly duckling, what the, if you really never happens to forget some parts of it, I will just help you to recap a bit. The ugly duckling happens to land inside the duck farm with all the other pigs and turkeys, and it got bullied. Why? Because it wasn't really that kind. And what does this actually mean? If you are not my kind, that means you are a foreign entrant. In business, if you are a foreign entrant into this new market, what, it mean, what this means is you face a high barrier of entry. Going forward into the story, the ugly duckling got so upset and he doesn't want to die in the farm yet. The ugly duckling decided to escape, or rather, he decided to leave the place. So he went to live with an old woman, a cat, and a hen. This hen, this cat, always bullied the little, duck, uh, the little ugly duckling. They called him, why do you always swing? It's, you are just a very, very real freak. So, in business term, if you cannot be in the same level, same game level, you leave, just like what the ugly duckling left in the end. He left. In the middle, he almost died in the halfway before he actually grew up to be a swan. And after he became a swan, he followed with his kind. He landed, he grew into a very beautiful swan. He got the admiration of all the people by the lake. What this means? in business term again, is you must find a market that actually suits the business. If you are, the, if your business doesn't suit this market, if you are selling, um, let's say, infantry, in, in, infant care products, you don't really go and sell it to the, all those um, grandmothers, old ladies, right? That's for sure. Going into the second story, we have the three little pigs. What is so special about these three little pigs? Three little pigs, the first pig, the big brother, is a lazy fighter. He just goes into the forest, picks some straws, and decides to build a straw house. The second wasn't any better. He built a stick house. But then one day, the big dad of came. And with a breath, and he just 
straw house and the stick house collapse. Only the brick house that the third little pig actually built was still intact. If in the business term, you cannot really go into the, in the innovative, you don't increase your core competency, you just live in the olden way, in the conventional way of doing business, of operating and running the business, you will always lose out. Just like how the wolf, which represents the market and the danger that the market presents is everywhere. It's not only it's, op, it's not omnipotent, but it just exists. You just have to be beware of, of the surrounding. Going into the third story, we have Wizard of Oz. How many members are there in the group? Four. Wizard of Oz? Four. Four? Ready? Five plus the dog. Yes, correct. <laughs> Don't forget the <laughs> For this group of five, here's the story. The little girl, Dorothy, she got blown in by the cyclone and landed into this special, special land. And when she landed, she happens to kill, she happens to kill the evil witch and she somehow got kill. the silver shoe but what she doesn't know is that she wants to go home but the silver shoe which can actually bring her home she doesn't know what is the power, what is the power that presents that is hidden inside this silver shoe so she with the other companions went in search of this wizard of horse which in the end turns out to be a very, very big scammer. In, if you really relate to the business, you will realize that if you are in a desperate scenario, you want to search for something without any justification, you may just end up finding some scammers. Just never mind. <laughs> so, oh, sorry. oh yeah. So you will find that maybe it's just a you may just make into some Ponzi scheme or whatever. Going into into forward. If you are in this group, we have a lion, we have a scarecrow, we have a team, a team man. And yeah, we have the dog and Dorothy. Each has different character characteristics and features. We must really actually tap on the different strengths of each individual to really bring out the true strength of the whole organization if you are talking in business term. We don't have any we don't get any lawyers to go and print, um, print papers. We don't get any um, accountants to go and clean the floor, right? That's rubbish. So, in, in simple terms, what we want is we actually allocate the right talent. We don't need to keep on searching for the talent. We have actually exist in these companies, in these organizations, they are actually loca located inside. It's just that you need to find the right talent at the right time. So for today, I think, yeah, I'm going to share, that's all I'm going to share with you about the business terms and the child stories. And I want you that before you, actually next time when you read, when you're, when you're maybe, in the future, when your children start to read um, child stories, let us teach them some business skills that these child stories, these tales are actually very good business by <laughs> Thank you.